I don't think I realized or looked into the future in 1976 to see that it would take me so long to graduate. So 1976, I started and um, gonna march across the stage, learn willing in the spring of 2022, which will be 46 years from start to finish. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So I came to college at Bob Jones University in 1976 in the fall, right after I had graduated from high school. Um, I was a home economics major. That's the field I was most interested in. Um, I felt it was good to my, my, what I was liking to do. And I also had a um, high school home economics teacher that um, really made an impression on me. And so I think that's mostly what led me there. So I joined a choir, tried out and joined a choir at the university, and um, it was in that choir that I met my husband-to-be, Ken Bartholomew, he was a tenor. We got married in December of 1980, and I came back to school the spring semester of 81. It was part-time, taking classes, <laughs> while I was like full-time working, and then all the other things come to be married. And at the end of that semester, I told my husband I didn't want to die that early. <laughs> and I was not going to do that again. That's when I left. Life just went on. What, what life like with, with kids? <laughs> you just watch them grow and you take care of them and it seems like that's what your whole life is. But um, part of me is definitely a creative person. so. Um, my husband would almost, if I got in a bad mood, he'd say, hey Ruth, when was the last time you got into your sewing room? <laughs> and I would say, uh, he'd say, go. Because <laughs> it's kind of like my grounding thing. It's, you know, it's a safe place and it kind of helps me get back to out of the crazies of life. And then in 2008, um, my, um, my eldest, my daughter, and my youngest, Stephen, and um, my husband, Ken, and I were out picking strawberries. And um, he got dizzy, fell over, and um, they airlifted to the hospital. And um, that was the day God called him home. When I started working on a collection, and it kind of narrowed itself down to a theme, it gets you thinking about things. So I have the blue and the blue colors of, of the ocean. If you think about the ocean and its ebb and flow, and as you look back on life, you can see how the ebb and flow of nature kind of echoes our lives because we have moments of great joy and things come in, and then we have moments of sorrow and grief and loss when the tide ebbs out. And um, even in the, in the ebbing of our lives, there are treasures to be found.